Hello there, only one Kenobi here, only one. And I'm going to keep on filming today to review the Sebulba Pod Racer, but just before I do that, I thought I'd keep these out. If you haven't seen my review on the Moss Esper Encounter, do check that out. But that's a really good little scene that I took away the Jar Jar just to have these two going head to head. And the figure that came with it, I thought looked good going that way. I might find a place for this Jar Jar somewhere else on my shelves because I thought that was quite good. You know, when you first meet Jar Jar and he's getting surrounded by stampede and MTTs and those creatures running through and he's sort of like, whoa, you know, whoa. I don't know. So that's an extra Jar Jar to think about later. But still, I thought I'd keep the Subulba figures out because, of course, I'm about to be opening his pod racer, the 2012 one. So I thought I'd get the 2012 one to match my 2012 Anakin's pod racer and also the MTT which I opened on uh, Christmas Day. Check out those videos if you want, or that video if you want to see it. And I can't wait to get this open, man. Let's do it. So here is a look at the packaging. It's nice. It was round right about the time they had, I mean, the vintage collection was existing at this point. This would have also been really good in the vintage collection, given that they gave you the Naboo Starfighter for a second time. So that was definitely definitive because the one you got in 1999 for that vehicle didn't have the correct canopy, whereas this one did. This came in packaging like that in 2012 and look, they'd made it better or they plussed it. And God knows why they didn't put it in a vintage collection box because, uh, Bruh. you know, the vintage collection had been around since 2010. It was definitely rolling still in 2012. And um, it's just a, just a mystery. It would have been awesome. Imagine that. I haven't actually thought about this vehicle being in the vintage collection, so Bulba's Pod Racer, but it could have. It would have been brilliant. The artwork would have been awesome. And um, you could see by the texture of the box. Let me just try and get closer. Can you see these ridges here? Can you see them there? You know, you obviously can see that a bit more because there's sellotape there. From my memory, vintage collection boxes around that era were like that. They were certainly, the box was certainly like this for um, Obi-Wan Starfighter, the Jedi Starfighter from Revenge of the Sith. So what I'm just suggesting is um, they went with this line for movie heroes or whatever it is, but they could have made it TVC, but, you know, could have, would have, should have. Don't matter now, it's all in the past. It's just a thought, you know, why didn't they? Oh, the back, have you seen enough? So Bulba's, so Bulba pilots a pod racer in the Boonta Eve classic pod race. So let me just go in and you can see a bit of that if you want me to freeze frame. If you want to freeze frame that, please do. Spring out spinning blades. A power coupling thing there. There's some of the action there again. I've seen that on other reviews. Power coupling seems to be closer than the Annie one. Kind of a wider stretch, but there is Sebulba figure not included. You do get the figure included in the 1999 line. The 1999 line, you ask? This line, which is just brilliant. There's some great figures and vehicles in that line. And if you know any advantages or disadvantages of the previous one, other than the fact you get a figure with it, I think that this one's supposed to be an upgrade. It's got better details on it, but still, let's get it open. Whoop, that just fell off. Some, some stickers need to be applied here then. So let's have a look at that. If they're non-essential, I won't bother, but still, uh, for the uh, for the sake of the review, I thought I'd just show you that. And then we've got some instructions as well. Uh-huh. Yeah, you've got this here, Sebulba's Pod Racer. Very, very straightforward. Look at that. Easy pictorial guide there. And then what's this? Uh, just warning. Bumped. And just if I go handheld and show you what's in here. That's how it appears. And look at that, great detail. From the videos I've seen, um, the guy who I watched, he's called Force Droid something or other, he said that there's more paint applications on the vehicle, like, see on the, and also on the back here, apparently these, um, oh, I, I really couldn't comment, but he said in his video that these panels here didn't exist on the original release, but I wouldn't know. Um, so I'd love to know in the comments what's new and different. I mean, this lovely silver paint there looks great, doesn't it? Was that on the other one? The different tones of, I mean, that could be potentially a different color of plastic on the other release and stuff. Just don't know. This overall, just imagine this with weathering on it. Imagine that, oh, come on, Hasbro, was covered in a dirt just like that. 
vintage collection item there. And also you've got Slave One that had it and Luke's X-Wing, which is just there and still haven't moved that X-Wing. Oh, that's got it. Lots of vehicles have had it recently, but yeah. It's calling out for a third release, isn't it? They could, if they ever put this in a TVC box, I'd hope they would weather the hell out of it, man. It would be awesome, wouldn't it? Look at that, with just, just that subtle dirt all over it. It still looks impressive, but it could be better. Look at the gold paint there. I'm sure that's something that's new as well. I don't know. Please don't quote me on this. I'm just going by what I think I've heard in <laughs> other reviews. But I'm going to get it out now. You do get that bag of stuff in there as well, see? So I'm going to do that as well. Let's do it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to mount the camera again. There's the top section out already. I'll put that aside. These wires are really quite strong. If, they, if they're anything like the Anakin one, it'll hold it up. But apparently this one doesn't sit as well as the Anakin one. It's heavier or something. But we'll find out. Look at that. Drag. Drag style, man. Ooh, yeah, you get this as well. That's the, those tiny, thin elastic band things that keep everything together. That'll be the vents that he flashes you with. That's not wanting to open yet. Maybe I'm pressing the wrong button. It's taking shape now. Look at that. Great. It's a great pod racer, isn't it? I see what people are saying, it can only sit back like that. It doesn't really, the other pod racer, the Annie, whoa, the Annie one, sort of sits like that. And then that's kind of up in the air. So what you what you need is, in fact, I've got something here. Just some little stands. This came out of my uh, Moss Esper set. Oh, it's a bit too short, that, but yeah, you need just something just to hold it up. I'll be able to work it out. But anyway, it's all right for me because I'm going to be having it resting on the top shelf there, man. That's for damn sure. Just remains for me to organize this stuff here. And inside you get the power coupling beam. And you get whatever the hell that is. I just don't know this. What is that? And then this, obviously I know what that is, that's the headrest, and apparently that has more detail than the one in 1999. I think it's got something about it, like that's got silver paint and the other one doesn't. Something like that, I, you know. Don't quote me on that, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going by someone else's video, but um, yeah, I know that is different, apparently. So I'm gonna put this in here. Well, that definitely goes here. That goes there. This must go where? I don't know where the hell it goes. It's pretty cool. It looks lovely, doesn't it, actually? Despite the uh, lack of weathering, it, it, it's got some scorching and feature, which is kind of weathering, I suppose. But what I mean by that is wash, dirt. It still looks good, really good. I don't know what the other one looks like. Probably not as good as this. I think it's flooding back to me now from what I've seen on other videos. This has got this gold paint, which makes it look way better, man. Way, way better. Or oh, really good to me for my eyes looking at it for the first time. Yeah, you can always consult the picture. Check it out. Whoa. <laughs> yes. You can just see it there. You've got headrest. Uh, that bar I've just put in and then that monitor thing there so they're all on now and I'm done I'm gonna figure out a way of getting this displayed for you and then all right I'm ready for you now so the figure or the vehicle comes with that I think that's supposed to be a handle lamp you'll have to check the movie but that's just the thing and also you can do the vent flashing with that as well, but I just figured out a way of showing you how you could display it, and I needed something that was the right height to go underneath that. And I've just been looking around my shelves for something, and this Obi-Wan Kenobi here, which comes from the Saga collection, is the perfect height just to go underneath 
So I'm going to show you that from a different angle. And now I'm going to go handheld and show you this pod race. It's brilliant, isn't it? Really good. Like it a lot. I'm going to put it on the shelf in a minute. It still is all the features there. Very good. You saw the um, the flash vent thing, whatever that is. That's pretty cool. I, uh, I'm not going to put on the uh, stickers, I'm afraid. I will put the figure inside, ladies and gentlemen. I've only got two for Sebulba, so I probably want a third because I'd like to have that one just out of the vehicle. I quite like just how Sebulba looks just like that on my shelf with all the other pod, with all the other pod races anyway. I've just got that Sebulba that goes with that set specifically, so I'll be after a third one maybe. I put them in my pod racer, but I'll use this one for today anyway. But he should fit in there, but look at the feature here now we have. It's nice, a little bit more of that scoring on the top there. There's that secondary engine or whatever that is. Nice, isn't it? Very nice. It's a Bulba's pod racer, ladies and gentlemen. There's those wires. Stay strong. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? What a nice piece. Everyone was telling me about this. They said, you've got to get Sebulba's pod racer. And I, I'm i not disappointed. I do have the Action Fleet one. It's not a patch on this, though. And I'd like to... Maybe one day I'll do a, a comparison video, you know, get the other one as well, maybe. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to stick with the 2012 model because I've got 2012 for everything else, pretty much, for the, you know, the MTT and the other Anakin one. But, yeah, that's great, isn't it? That Obi-Wan looks a bit weird, just <laughs> sat there. I'm going to get this on the shelf in a minute, but before I do that, I'm going to put the Sebulba in. Bear with me. Right. Well, I don't quite know how you're supposed to have him in, but his legs, his walking legs, because he, he sort of walks on his hands, doesn't he? They're outside the vehicle, and then these that are his legs, which he usually uses his hands, are inside. Maybe that's the way it should be. That's how he fits. <laughs> like bloody Mario Kart isn't it that kind of look but um, I suppose it will be the same for this figure here but that's that but again I'm not going to have him in the vehicle uh, I don't have Annie in that either it's just for display purposes I just wanted to just showcase the vehicle looking looking good from a good angle but uh, yeah which I'm going to do with this one now so bear with me ladies and gentlemen let's get it on the shelf too and we are done now it is on and it sits like that. I was a bit worried it wouldn't get on, but it does. This one sits slightly differently. It's not gonna come off, but watch. It kind of runs down. There it would slip off, but it goes as far as, say, that silver thing there. It, it, it ain't going anywhere. It's not heavy enough to come off. So it sits like that. This one's slightly differently. S sits differently. It sits just behind these two front things there. That ain't going nowhere. That ain't gonna fall off. Um, so that's really cool. I'm going to experiment with that, you know, this is just sort of like a, t a, a first <laughs> time I've done it, you know what I mean? So I will rearrange things, maybe move it along, maybe have some different characters or something um, between. Just sort of have those there for now. I love that though, these figures have aged quite badly, the back of them is quite yellow. But, you know, it's just sort of like gives you that Phantom Menace uh, look, doesn't it? <laughs> But still, there you are. So two pod races now on the top shelf. This is going to be my shelves, I think, for for TPM vehicles, man. And then over there's the full imposter. I've just shifted that along, but I'll, I'll rearrange all that. But there you are. Um, it, yeah, that is all. It's all coming together nicely. Again, shelf indulgence will be back. I will arrange all these properly. And then I will look forward to bringing you those videos later in the new year. Thank you for watching. This has been Only One Kenobi. Only One. Out.